thank you so much for that great introduction. All right, so I am Dee Dee Lecky. I am with Liberty Town Arts Workshop, and I am here to give you a tour of how the plates for your hors d'oeuvres got made for Downtown Affair done by Main Street. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you into our little elf's workshop, walk you through the whole process. So the main gallery here, some lovely customers in the gallery today. All right, so this is our pottery studio. This is where the magic happens. So today we're gonna watch Kevin. Kevin Rodrigue has been throwing pottery for about 20 years. He's gonna throw a plate in about a minute. So what he's doing right now is centering the clay, pushing a hole down the center of it to open it up, to create a little rim. Now he's pushing that rim out and pressing the bottom while he goes, pulling up the sides. Now, it goes from a bowl to a plate, flattening out the sides into a saucer shape. Super quick, super fast. He makes it look easy. Took him 20 years to get here, guys. <laughs> so after this is all done, so you can notice right over here, so these pots have that big, thick rim on them. So you can sort of see right over there. So those rims have to be taken off. We leave a lot of support down there for the plate so that the rims will stay nice and flat for us. So we're gonna walk over and we'll look at how we trim those pots into proper plate shapes. So this is Neil Reed. Neil teaches all of our pottery classes here at Liberty Town. He's also been throwing for 20 years. He is de uh, demonstrating trimming today. So Neil is taking off the excess clay. Isn't that like the most satisfying thing you've ever seen in your life? It's like little noodles of clay coming off. And what he's doing is he's shaping the outside of the clay to create a foot. Um, on the side of the clay, or actually underneath the clay, and that creates a proper plate shape. Defining the foot edge, and then he's gonna work from the center to kind of carve out all that excess clay. And this gives us a nice flat bottom with a little bit of room. You can see here, we've got this little foot shape right here. This is the foot of the plate. Awesome, thanks Neil. So that gives us the opportunity to do the next step. I'm gonna come around you on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, after that happens, after we put the foot on, right, we are gonna throw it into our kiln, fires to 1945 degrees, and then it comes out as biscuit ware. And that's this, nice and hard, you know, it's really uh, porous, kind of sounds kind of terrible, right? You don't want to eat off this. This isn't ready to go. We got to glaze it next. So I'm going to walk you over here and show you the next step. Okay, so the next step, and this is special for Downtown Affair, is we put our gorgeous little Downtown Affair stamp on the bottom. Right there, we've got the FXBG 1728. This is how you know you have an authentic Downtown Affair plate. If you don't see this, it's not authentic. Okay, so I'm going to wax this for you. Put this on here, dip my brush in a little bit of water. And this stuff looks like the green goo from Ghostbusters 2. I'm gonna wax that plate right up, put it all over that surface. This helps us resist the glaze, so we can just dip these in. It's a lot faster than brushing glaze on. So that one's all ready to go, but I've got one sitting on the side over here, ready for us, Ooh, right over here. And this one I'm gonna dip for you guys. So. We use white fluff. That's the glaze that you have on your plates. It's called white fluff. If you want anything else made in that, that's the color to request. I'm gonna stir this up really well. I've pre-stirred a little bit, so it's not gonna be as long as it normally takes. And then we use our high-tech toilet bowl brush to stir it. We grab our tongs, grab our plate, dip it in, count one, two, give it a little shake. And then we're gonna slide it onto this countertop here. And that is how you dip a plate. Repeat that 300 times. And that's how many times we did that for this project. But due to the magic of television, I have one ready to go. So we're actually gonna take it over here, clean this bottom off real quick. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we put that black rim that you guys see on your plates. So this is a place called licorice. It looks red, but it fires black because it has a really high iron content. 
and when it goes in the kiln, that darkens up. So that's where that black rim came. Sometimes it'll look a little bit green, depending on the mineral content of the clay body, because we use some light clays and some dark clays for you guys. And that's it. That's how we put the black rim on. I'm going to carry this out to the kiln. Whoop. Show you guys what we do. We're going to load it in a second kiln. I know it sounds crazy, but you have to fire everything at least twice. Walk out into our kiln shed here. Load it up in our kiln. We fire this one up to 2200 degrees. And then, again, magic of television. A kiln full of pots are all gone for you. So these are the gorgeous Main Street pots. You can see the black rim on there, the white glaze, and the beautiful 1728 stamp on the bottom. And that is how a pot made. It only takes two to three weeks, you know, just a simple process to make a simple pot. Um, if you want to learn anything more about Liberty Town, we are Liberty Town Arts on all the things. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all over the place. Our website is libertytownarts.com. Check us out anytime. Send us an email at info at libertytownarts.com. And uh, we'd be happy to help you guys learn how to make a plate like this. Thank you so much. Happy eating.